In this video, I want to talk about converting 223 brass to 300 blackout, uh, which I've been doing. Kind of did this on a whim, bought the barrel, bought the muzzle brake, and then changed it over, bought the dies, of course. Uh, what I really want to cover is cutting these things down. I was trying to find the fastest, easiest way to do this, and what I found to be the, so far to be the best way, that, like I said, the best I've got anyway, is... Uh, I run this with the walnut shell medium, the vibratory tumbler, just knock the dust, dirt, and whatever off of it. Um, then I run it through a decapping die just to knock the primer out of it, not a resized die. And that way I don't have to lubricate it. And then what I did, did was, is I took this piece of poplar, it's a hardwood. Uh, this is a, I think they sell this as a 1x3, and then of course it's finished dimensions are a little bit, a little bit smaller than that. And what I did is I drilled a 3 8 inch hole here approximately one and a quarter inches into the into the wood and then drilled all the way through it with a quarter inch hole and then went after after it again with the three eighths inch bit so that what I'm able to do is place the brass in here all the way until it hits the bottom you can tap it a little bit if you care to but uh, what that does is it gives me a repeatable depth in the piece of wood and then on a uh, bandsaw table I've clamped down a piece of wood to guide this so that I'm able to slide this by the bandsaw blade and cut it off to a very consistent length and then afterwards what I can do is I can take just a punch and reach over and punch it out far enough that I'm able to grab it now I did this two different ways first I started off by lubing and resizing some of the cases and then cutting them to length and I'm going to tell you that was a bad idea because the lube that I'm using, which is uh, isopropyl alcohol in high concentration, sold as a fuel system additive for gasoline engines. And I'm mixing it with a couple of different products, including uh, this This time I happen to be using uh, what's claimed to be pure lanolin. This stuff is, uh, I believe, the uh, anhydrous, meaning that it uh, doesn't have liquid, doesn't have water. This stuff is um, a thick, gelatinous gunk okay uh it's very good at lubricating the cases but it may, leaves them uh sticky so as i was trimming the brass um and using the deburring tool all the little metal shavings tended to stick to this the other problem was that once the cases were lubricated obviously some of the lubricant got into the uh to my bore here and made it uh easier for them to turn uh, and spin in here and going against the bandsaw blade you don't want that to happen because it can wind up as it rolls around it might overfeed into the blade so the blade's taking out more of a chunk than what it's intended to do so uh, that was a that was a problem so what I did uh, to further make this a little bit better uh, was I split the wood and I don't know if this will show up very well but I put it on the bandsaw and I split the wood all the way front you know top and bottom so it basically it makes a clamshell, so I'm able to squeeze this down as I cut it and have it bite down on the uh, the shell tighter, and that actually helped to hold it better. Like I said, with a guide on the uh, the table, I'm able to cut these off to a very consistent length, and I'm targeting about 30 thousandths over what my finished length is going to be. And what I'm about to do now is I will go through and take this is one that I had obviously resized before I cut to length. Like I said, that was that was not a good idea because I saw the lube on it. I should have cleaned the lube off, or the better thing is cut it to length, then size form it. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Size form it to get the final profile that we're looking for. Uh, I'm not gonna waste your time showing me pull the handle on the machine, but that was what I wanted to pass on. I thought that was a neat idea about using the bandsaw to cut that off. I didn't, like I said, I didn't plan this ahead, so I didn't buy like the little mini cutoff saw I see some people use from Horrible Freight. Uh, I tried using a Dremel. Uh, I was not happy with the, the inconsistent results. I had to throw away several pieces of brass because I overcut. So, in any case, hopefully that'll help y'all, and that's, um, I think that was everything that I wanted to talk about. So, um, have a great day.